What's going on guys and welcome to the return of the Spurs career mode. It's been a while since I've played one of these and I apologise for that. I had some issues with the positioning of stuff in my room at university so I didn't have a chance to record any more of this but I finally did, I am finally back with it and we start off on this episode with a game against Lokomotiv in the Europa League. Look at the table there, we are top at the moment. And we move into this game with another three points would definitely secure us uh, qualification into the knockout stages or at least pretty much guarantee it without a massive, massive slip up in the following games. And I gotta admit, this game, it started off pretty poorly. Like, as you can see right here, we end up actually giving away possession straight away and we're only the first minute into the game and what am I doing defensively I don't know we end up going 1-0 down it's a very poor goal to concede I think my defense well my, my defending was poor I moved uh, the player out of there I should have kept him in position and I probably wouldn't have conceded there but things did improve from this point on in around the 30th minute I get the ball to Lennon who then feeds a the ball into Mason a brilliant ball, I've got to admit, from Mason here. Any second now, you're going to see it. Right over to Lamella, perfectly weighted. Great first touch, great finesse into the bottom corner. Lamella scores again. Lamella is one of my favourite players. He's very versatile. I've played him on the right, I've played him on the left, I've played him down the middle. And I'm pretty sure if I need him to, I could probably put him at striker. Mason is another player who I really like. He's definitely solid in that centre defensive midfield. Don't forget this career mode was made before all the winter upgrades so people like Kane aren't higher so their stats are still the old when the game came out sort of way but I think it's a great finish straight past the keeper Lamella great goal and put us back on level terms from this point on I don't know one thing I could do and that was to push on to try and get the winning goal that's his first goal in the Europa League but he's been a constant threat there you go, one each. And moving on into the second half, right at the beginning, Danny Rose makes a good run, passes to Kane, who plays a beautiful ball in to Soldado, who then goes on to score one of the best goals I have ever scored. Now, you all know my criticism of Soldado if you watch this series. I haven't played him much. And then I came to this game, and players were a little bit tired, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I'll give him a game. And he showed me why he should be playing, because this is one hell of a finish. Get a bit of luck, comes off the crossbar and the post, but it's still, if he's going to do that every game, then he needs more game time, but he, he has got competition, we've got Wilfred Bonney, we've got Sadu Dumbia, we've got Harry Kane, he's fourth in the he's fourth in order, but that's his second goal in the Europa League, so it could be that the Europa League is the tournament I play him in, I then get really lucky, 90th minute, they have an open goal, he misses it, he missed an open goal, I keep the three points, I don't drop two, meaning that we have a pretty firm grip on qualification to the knockout stages. And we're going to move on here straight into the next game against Newcastle in the Premier League. We're going to cut straight into the second half because the first half nothing happened whatsoever. And you can see here I give away a very, very stupid penalty. Like, the tackle was poor. And I think it's a very, very poor decision from the car walker here. He just cut through Obertan. Looks like he's clotheslined in WWE style. Gives away a penalty. Lloris, I'm begging you at this point to try and keep me in it because look who's taken it. Emmanuel Adebayor, who I sold to Newcastle. What's he going to do? He's going to make us pay. He's going to put it in. It's 1-0 to Newcastle. We are 1-0 down at home to Newcastle, just like we were 1-0 down earlier in the season to QPR, which, as you remember, finished 3-0. That was an embarrassing defeat at home to a team who, in real life, just got relegated. Once again here, a team that's struggling with relegation this season in real life, probably not going to win the game. They've got, much, they've got a very strong squad. Improved with Emmanuel Adebayor right there. So I'm trying to push forward, trying to get attacks off, going on pretty much all out attack, and I pay for it. Cabela here going through, you know how much I love Cabela in this game guys. Oh, it plays in Obertown, who play, just finishes in, just finishes me off. From that point on, I couldn't get an attack going. Every time I did, they were on ultra defensive, or po possibly even parked the bus. 
I couldn't break them down, meaning I did unfortunately lose the game. I lost. Yeah. More points dropped in this season already. And we're already at the beginning of the season. We're already dropping down the table. Couldn't break them down. Tried ever. You can see there's so many Newcastle players back there. Those two Newcastle players on the middle of the screen right there were the furthest forward. You know, in their own half. Czech Diote was an absolute r rock in that game. So after that, I was like, you know what, I need a break. And the Capital One Cup against Villa came up, which I decided to sim. And we went through on penalties. Wasn't the greatest game. I thought at home we could at least win in normal time. But I'll take through on penalties. Look at the league table now. We're in ninth. Three points off fifth. Well, fourth as well. Actually, third as well. Wow. Three points off third. Get in there, next, next episode must be better. But I hope you enjoy, guys. If you have, please do leave a like for the return of the series, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode of my Spurs career mode.